Welcome back to Blitz. I'm Brian Carter on site here at Lumpkin County High School with girls soccer coach Don Brock. Coach, soccer season finally kicking off, ready to go, but the weather's not quite cooperating. But uh, either way, we're, we're glad to have you here on the show today. Thanks. I appreciate it. Now, you're starting your sixth year as the head coach on the team and your 10th overall with the Lady Indian Soccer Program. Talk a little about how the program has evolved in your time here at Lumpkin County. Um, when I first arrived at Lumpkin County, we probably had a wider variety of athletes in our program. Uh, over the last uh, several years, more students are starting to uh, specify their sports and, and really not crossing over into the other sports near as much. So that's made us have to focus more on the players that we do have, uh, really work hard to keep them in the sport and encourage them to play in the off season and really work hard then. Now you open your season with a match, uh, a scrimmage match against Franklin County, who next year will actually be in the same region as you with that whole realignment process. And then you started off your season officially with a match against West Forsyth. Talk a little about both of those matches and the insight you have looking into those at, at your team's weaknesses and strengths and, and uh, how you see the girls played in those games. Um, our, our, our scrimmage match against Franklin County went relatively well. Uh, we, we passed the ball well. That's one of the things that we've really made a focus, trying to, to possess the ball and control the ball. Uh, we won that game two to nothing, um, and uh, we're able to limit Franklin County to six shots, I believe it was, over the entire game. Uh, we had no shots on goal the first half against us, um, and, and we were able to put up somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 15 shots on goal. Uh, and that has also been a focus of ours. Uh, however, some of our passing was not what it should have been. We weren't passing as cleanly, as neatly, but they have learned a great deal about how to play more of a possession game. Uh, we moved into our first game against West Forsyth, which was playing against uh, last year's number two team in our, sub -re in our region, and uh, they are a very strong team. Uh, we were able to hold with them to 1-0 uh, the first half, uh, but uh, in the second half they, they were able to rack up five more on us, and we lost 6-1. to one. Uh, We did show a great deal of uh, understanding of how to work the ball around. However, against a team that was as skilled as they were, um, we had a hard time possessing it. And uh, our passes work in not quite so clean. So uh, the strengths that I, I saw, were we have a better understanding of the game. Now talk a little about last season, um, not so much the season in general, but what did you lose in terms of talent last year? And then what additions have you had this season that will make your team more competitive? Um, we lost a, a senior leader in our defense, Kayla Beyer. Um, and just a phenomenal player, a, ph a phenomenal motivator. Uh, and we really missed her in the defense, are missing her in the defense. Uh, and we also lost a strong midfielder, uh, Kendall Copeland, um, and another great leader, uh, Laura Weber, up on my front line. Um, so we missed, uh, we're missing somebody in every area. Uh, but however, we have added uh, some really strong freshmen. Uh, we have a, a young lady, Casey Tauber, who moved in as a freshman has stepped right on in there into the midfield. Uh, we've got uh, of some players that have moved in from out, uh, out of state, um, uh, Brooke Lewis that should also be able to help us out. And we actually got, finally got uh, Kara Malone to come out from the, our basketball mm -hmm. team and hopefully uh, she will help us uh, add that needed speed in our front line. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm optimistic that we have replaced well. We've moved some players around. So I think we've made some good adjustments. Now, before the season could even begin, uh, the Lady Indians have had their challenges. Their biggest enemy right now has been the weather. And it's, it seems not to be cooperating. Um, a lot of the wintry mix we keep having here. But how has that set your team back, if it has at all, um, in preparation for the season? Uh, we're fortunate here. Uh, a few years ago, we put in a field turf surface. Um, so where some of the schools have natural surfaces to practice on, and of course they're, they're encouraged to stay off the game field. Uh, our game field is always open for us. And no matter how much it rains, uh, as long as there's no thunder, no lightning, we're playing. So uh, we haven't been hurt as badly as others. Although our back practice fields uh, are in really, really rough shape, uh, that has just forced us to uh, share the, the game field with the guys team. But uh, even with the cold, I'll have to say my girls have toughed it out, and we've been out there. We haven't missed but maybe uh, three days of practice. Three days of practice. That's amazing with all the weather we've been having. And you had a long season ahead, though, and looking at your schedule, it's, it's awesome to see that you have 12 home matches and only five matches on the road. That's outstanding 
for your team. What edge, other than the obvious, is, do you think that will give your girls in being able to maybe run the table in 7 AAA? A? Um, I think what that does is it, it gives us a, a level of comfort uh, that, that, that I think we really need. Last year we ended up uh, close to the bottom of our region. Um, and, and I think that being at home more will make them feel more comfortable. We won't have to travel. Traveling around North Georgia is not the easiest thing to do on a school bus. Um, but uh, it should give us a little bit of an edge to make us a little more competitive with some of the teams that we were really, really close to being able to beat last year. And hopefully we'll be able to step that over. Uh, we have a tournament that we're hosting here. So that definitely helps out with the home matches and increases the numbers. Uh, let's talk a little about those numbers at the end of the season, the, at the end of 2010. Where do you see the Lady Indians shaking out in the, the race for the 7 AAA title? Uh, 7 AAA title is going to be a really tall number. Uh, we have a uh, preseason number two team in our region, North Hall. Uh, we also have uh, Creekview and West Forsyth and Flowery Branch. Uh, I think Flowery Branch and West, Hall, uh, West Forsyth are both in the top ten as well. Uh, Creekview is dancing right on the edge of being in there if they're not at this point. Gainesville is extremely strong, and they would be very close to being in there. West Hall had an incredible team last year as well. Uh, and Johnson's always real competitive. So for us, if we could end up in the middle, middle of the pack, I would be extremely happy. If we can get into the top four, I'll be beside myself. Uh, it, it, we've got f four teams moving out of our region and moving up into the 4A or 5A next year. So um, it's, it's a really tough, uh, tough region to be in right now. It's a tough region for sure, but, uh, Coach, we really hope you have a good season, and we, we uh, also want to thank you so much for being with us on the show today. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to have one of Coach Brock's own La uh, Lumpkin County Lady Indian soccer player. Don't go anywhere.